if you think that I'm going to use the beginning of this video to complain about the fact that the only Cobag kids that made it from 10 to 11 were Cassie and Jacqueline, you are absolutely right. <laughs> Readers, it's kind of hard to believe that in this day and age, it's been 22 years since we've had a Mortal Kombat movie. A actually, no, 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 now that I think about it, wait, no, it's not. Mortal Kombat Annihilation was, it was, it was bad. And not like, we can never do another adaptation in any form of traditional media ever again kind of bad. More like the, let's wait about eight years before we decide to do another Batman movie kind of bad. Damn, now that I think about it, Batman and Robin came out in 1997 too. What, 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 what was in the water that year? What, what, what else came out in 1997? Face Off? Jackie Brown? As good as it gets? Fifth Element? Titanic? Oh yeah, y'all had no excuse. But it's not like we haven't seen anything about Mortal Kombat outside of video games since then. We got a very well done short film that turned into Mortal Kombat Legacy, a very well done web series by the now dead Machinima. Did you hear me press F? Because I totally pressed F. And ever since it was announced that James Wan was going to produce the film reboot after the creator of Mortal Kombat Legacy had to bow out of the project, those of us who wanted to see Mortal Kombat take another chance at the big screen have begun to anticipate the updates regarding the movie. So when the news of the upcoming film's casting started to make itself public in mid-August, a lot of us were genuinely excited. Ludi Lin, who played Zack in the recent Power Rangers movie, was cast as Liu Kang. Supergirl's Makad Brooks was cast as Jax. And Japanese actor Tadanobu Asano was cast as Raiden, making him the first Japanese actor to portray the character that was originally inspired by Laijin, the Japanese Thunder God. And I, I mean, look, I'm not here to cast any shade on Christopher Lambert because I love him. Ask me which Highlander I prefer between Connor and Duncan and I will choose Connor every day of the week. But not only has every single live action interpretation of Raiden been a white guy, but it's even been presented that way in the rebooted video game series. This change is a very welcome decision. Anyway, fast forward about 10 days later and we get another casting announcement regarding the 2021 release. This time involving the status of Sonya Blade and Kano, who are now being played by Jessica McNamee and Australian actor Josh Lawson, respectively. But in that same Hollywood Reporter article, we learn that Louis Tan of Into the Badlands, Deadpool 2, Woo Assassins, and a fan favorite pick to play Dick Grayson slash Nightwing in the DCEU was also in final talks to be in the reboot, before confirming that he officially signed on the movie a day later in a very moving thread on his Twitter account. What's weird about it is that in regards to the character that he's playing, nobody knows who the fuck it is. Not even he's letting anyone in on early with subtle social media hints, because so far outside of his role acceptance thread, the most that he's talked about it is when he corrected a fan on the spelling of Mortal Kombat on Twitter. So that leaves a question to be answered, which I'm sure will be answered in about a week or two after this video comes out, so if anything, I'm making this video for me is that considering they're keeping the plot of this movie similar to at least either the first three games or the J.J. Abrams style remake of the first three games presented in Mortal Kombat 9, who is Louis Tan playing? So with that, let's start with the most popular assumption, Scorpion. Now, Sub-Zero was like the very first announced character that was cast for the movie, who's being portrayed by Joe Towson. And the last time we saw a live action Hanzo Hasashi was in Legacy, played by Japanese American actor Ian Anthony Dale, as part of his community service work for agreeing to take part in that god awful live action Tekken movie. And it wasn't like he never should have played Kazuya. Honestly, if the script was better and they actually gave a damn about it, I truly think he could make a great Kazuya. 
It's just unfortunate that he played Kazuya in a Tekken movie that was, that was, that was, it was just god awful. Anyway, to get back on topic, the reason why I mentioned Joe Taslim Sub-Zero is because Taslim is Indonesian Chinese and the Lin Kuei clan is canonically Chinese. This and the fact that Liu Kang is being portrayed by a Chinese Canadian and Raiden is being portrayed by a Japanese actor this time around tells me there's a chance that whoever is casting this movie not only has done their homework, but isn't just casting any Asian actors for the sake of filling any and all roles that would have Asian faces. They know that there are multiple creeds, backgrounds, and cultures to these characters that have been taken into consideration. So considering that Hanzo is Japanese and the Shilai Liu are a Japanese clan, and considering that Louis Tan is half British and half Chinese Singaporean, unless my theory regarding the reasoning is completely wrong, I don't really think we're going to be hearing Tan yelling, get over here anytime soon. And that <laughs> goes double for Johnny Cage, Jesus Christ. I, I don't know. I, I feel like he needs to stay an arrogant ass white dude <laughs> because it works. Especially with how the games handle his character development from Mortal Kombat 9 onward and you see how much he's grown. Get lucky. Also, now that fellow reader Michael Scali has successfully incepted the idea of the WWE's The Miz playing Johnny into my head, I, I, I just, I, I can't unsee that shit. It's, it's canon in my head. He has to play Johnny Cage. So considering those possibilities of the storyline the movie is going to cover, who all has been cast, and the possibility of them casting Asian actors to roles that similarly reflect their heritage, cultures, and ethnic backgrounds, my guess for who Louis Tan is going to be playing is Kung Lao. He, like Liu Kang, was once a Shaolin monk who, both in the game series and in real life, are traditionally Japanese Buddhists. And Tan himself is half Chinese Singaporean. And surprisingly enough, the age gap between the two of them isn't huge at all. He's only nine months older than Ludi, so the friend dynamic between Liu Kang and Kun Lao can still work with the two and it be believable. Like, I knew that Louis Tan was older than Ludi Lin, but I figured he was like five years older or some shit. No, actually nine months. And I just want to say, if the reason why I think they're casting the roles for this reboot the way that they are casting them is legit, then I have to tip my hat at James Wan and the rest of the peeps behind the scenes for making sure proper representation of multiple South Asian cultures and backgrounds is portrayed by who they cast for each role. And if I'm wrong, then holy shit is that just one hell of a coincidence. But I digress readers, your homework assignment for the day. Write in the comments section below who you think Louis Tan will play in the upcoming reboot to Mortal Kombat. If you want to help financially support the channel, you can join my Patreon by clicking the card at the end of the video or in the link in the description down below, where you can also find a link to my merchandise store. Or if you prefer to give a one-time donation, you can find links to my PayPal and my coffee account in the description box as well. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and every other Friday. But until then, this is Redis 101. Class dismissed.